you know, life is just, life is a lesson, right? You, you're forever learning and constantly growing. You should always look back at what you've done and use it to, to, to do more things. So I would just analyze, analyze everything. H how committed was I? What went wrong? What went right? And then make those corrections for the next time. So the sun, you win, you lose, you go to sleep, you wake up, you know, the sun goes down and it comes up the next day. It's no different. So you just analyze. You must do that on a win also. If you, if you, if you sleep on a, on a win, you'll wake up with a loss, you know. So you've got to stay, you've got to stay analyzing your, your preparation and your focus and be honest to yourself. And that's happened to me, you know. I've had, I've had many ups and downs in this game, you know. Um, for an example, for, for would be like the Diaz one rematch. My prep, um, the Diaz one fight. My preparation in the lead up to that, it wasn't. I was overtrained and I was run down by the time the fight came. And then mid midway through the second round, there was no more left in the tank. Then I went a bit more the scientific route. Met my, met the doctors and, and the trainers on the McGregor Fast program and began formulating a proper training training routine. And I was fully, fully committed on my nutrition, on my training, on my sleep. I went to sleep at the same time. I woke up at the same time each each day in camp. And I went and I re uh, avenged that loss. So I've heard I've heard the word commitment. And how how important is the commitment to discipline? And how hard is that for you to commit to discipline in, in the routine and the preparation for the fights? And how, what would you suggest to young sportsmen, young, young people who are trying to become real leaders in life and sports? How do, you, how do you recommend them to go with commitments? I mean, we are all human. Without, without the work, if we do not put the work in, you won't get the reward. So that, that's it. I have, like I said, it's easy, it's easy for someone to do this once, maybe even twice. But to do it year after year and time after time, you know, that's when, that's when your commitment can drop. That's when other things can get in the way. That's when I may start paying attention to the football again. And then the fighting, I'm not giving it my, my I'm not giving it 24 seven. You know what I mean? So that's it, just stay focused and put the work in. And you know, if you, if you are at it long enough, you will have ups and downs. You will have dips in commitment and, and lapses in concentration, but you just gotta be honest to yourself and, and be aware, make those corrections and, and, and carry on. Really for me, it's always been, my confidence has always, has always come from my work ethic. You know what I mean? I, I am a very, very hard worker in what, what, whatever I am engaged in. You know, sometimes I will, if I have one thing lined up and then I have another thing lined up, I'll put more work into that, into one certain uh, entity or business or whatever. And then the other one will not get that, get that work and then I will pay the price for that and that's it. So, um, and you just gotta put the, put the work in and, 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 and be confident. The, the confidence will come from the work ethic. Is how do you feel about Vasil and what do you know about him? I know Vasil Lamanchenko very well. I studied his fighting for many years. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal boxer. The pound for pound number one boxer on the planet today, I believe. For me, you must compete in mixed martial arts. There, there comes a stage where if you are not, you know, you've got to try, you've got to, you are just lying to yourself if you stay in one discipline. It's not a complete fight. You've got to. You've got to compete in mixed martial arts. I would like to see him compete now in mixed martial arts competition. I know he had some, some words about me or whatever, but um, me going to, my, to boxing to fight Floyd, it would be like him going to mixed martial arts to fight Henry Cahuto, who was an Olympic uh, freestyle wrestling champion. I, I don't even think that's necessary. I don't think that's wise for him to do. But I do believe it's time for him to venture into mixed martial arts competition, personally. Thank you, thank you, Connor. Otherwise, you're just living a lie. And, uh, the heavyweight boxing division is absolutely phenomenal at the minute. You've got Tyson Fury, one of the cleanest boxers, one of the smoothest boxers in the division. Um, you've got Anthony Joshua, a freak athlete. You've got Deontay Wilder, freak power. Um, what's your other guy, Ruiz? You've got him. He's also a crafty boxer, similar to, not similar to Tyson, but similar in, in quality of boxing. And also, he's got that knockout power. So um, the heavyweight division in boxing is very, very exciting at present, and I'm, and I'm enjoying watching it. Uh, what were the weakness, the weak spots mm. that, you, that you mentioned with your team mm. that you would use yeah. if you decide to have a, 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 mm. an X-Fight? Uh, I believe we overestimated, we overestimated his grappling um, severely and we also underestimated his striking. So there are things we will correct, you know, I will go on the offensive from a grappling standpoint. I believe I was, I was winning the clinch exchanges in, in, round three, uh, um, in, in round three in the bout. Um, but it was a little too late, a little too little too late uh, in the belt. And also my lack of commitment and, you know, I wasn't as fully committed as I should be carrying injuries and whatnot. So there's many, many things we can improve and sharpen up when the rematch happens. And thank you for this answer. And how does, how does this work of analysis 
going on? Like you all sit together, you have a computer, and, and then the coach. You says, know, for me, for me, when I left the arena. I was just watching the bout repeatedly over and over and over again and that's it, just continuing, just analysing the sequences, the moments and then referring them to the training camp, what we were doing in training and what, what was not necessary, what was necessary, exactly like I was speaking on earlier, analyse what went right, what went wrong, make amends and carry on, so we will, we will continue and we will make this right, no doubt. There's at least commitment for one, for one match, but... Are you gonna have more, like two or three? For how long do you wanna for stay me, in MMA? For me, I am looking at this next, for me, I used to I used to fight every every couple of weeks, really, before the UFC came, then it was every couple of months. Now the politics of the prize got involved and it's almost, I fight one and then I go off. I, I do not like that, it's, you can't be like that in this game. I must continue, you know, consistency is, is another word, you know, you must be consistent. So once we get, once we get the first one done and we, when we get past the politics of this, I will, I will continue to go. I'm, I've faced very little damage inside the octagon. Um, so I'm eager to get going and continue. Like if I look at the run I had up, until, up, up to Eddie Alvarez when I won the second world title, it was consecutive bouts, bout, bout, bout. So I went into that Eddie Alvarez fight sharp, um, aware, fully prepared. And what happened happened on the night, one of the one of the greatest performances in any title fight ever in the UFC. So that's what we are looking to, to continue on in the next time. Again, analyze what went wrong in the past, analyze what went right in the past, use it to go forward to the future. I just I actually, funny enough, I don't I just want to compete now. I was trying to get the December 14th card. For whatever reason they've been holding me back. I'm trying to I'm, I'm giving them dates. I'm saying I want to fight this date, this date, this date, this date in a row. And, and we had opponents selected and everything and they're just making it very difficult for me for whatever reason. So now I'm kind of in a position where I'm actually setting up, an, I'm attempting to set up an event, a charity event. So I will compete. I've done this before in my hometown, but I've done it under boxing in an amateur boxing event in my old boxing club. But I want to do it in mixed martial arts competition also. S create an event, find an opponent, compete zero prize i do not care about the prize the prize is in my home i have five prizes in my home that i seek to get i've got them i just want to compete now i want to come back i want to get sharp i want to show the best of myself you know what i mean and continue to to, to climb so to, in, sometime in december hopefully have a charity mixed martial arts event for zero prize the prize will go to charity so that's what we are aiming for. Where I compete for my fans, the fans are eager. The lady said, we miss you and we, we, you know, you're, you're, it's been so long since you fought. I agree, it has been so long. It's not good, it's not applicable to the game. It's not how I rose to, the, to be the greatest of all time in this game. You've got to be consistent with it. So I'm yeah. looking to get back in and compete and we are doing it any way possible. And I would love to do it uh, for charity. I, I even offered for the Frankie Edgar bout to donate my purse to charity. I said, you can get, because they were saying they won't make enough money on the Frankie fight. And I was like, I don't care. Like, don't worry about me, give my purse to charity, but. Going for the uh, predictions. Masvidal versus Diaz. I think Diaz beats him. He's got crisper boxing, way more experience. And um, I just, I think Diaz has enough in it to do him. I think he's in a better space. Um, you've got to factor in that. What kind of space is the fighter in? Because we can, everyone's the best on their day. You know what I mean? So. I think Diaz beats him. Hmm. It'll be an interesting one. I think Khabib would probably beat him. Again, you've got to see what, what the circumstances are. Anyone can win on any given day. Tony is a formidable fighter also. You know, he's very, very tough. He does go down. He does get dropped. His guard has been passed. He's been mounted uh, by, by a lesser fighter. So I, I would favor Khabib in that belt. Now, Henry Shiyudo, that's the right name? Yeah. And Valentina Shevchenko. I'd go Shev Valentina Shevchenko. We, we can't put 10,000 on that, right? We can't put 10,000, that's not, that's not gonna happen. But I tell you what, that, that Shevchenko, that woman, the Shevchenko sisters are phenomenal fighters, but Valentina is unbelievable. One of the, one of the greatest female fighters there ever, there ever was, so. Yeah, no. I, would say, I would say Valentina with the length and the range and the dangerous strikes would probably spark Henry. I designed that bad mother for belt. I actually designed that. I signed off on the design of how they are creating that belt. So most certainly, that belt was brought into fruition, brought to life because of me, the real bad motherfucker. So most certainly, one of those men is on my radar.